So when son, welcome once again. I told you this uh, program is a is what we call a pre-recorded uh, 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 stream, and uh, in here you are watching Catfish Solution Academy, where we give you in-depth information about catfish farming. Uh, today, as you know, we are talking about fish farming. That means feed formulation and concentration in fish farming. This is a concurrent lecture for you as a fish farmer. What I mean by concurrent lecture for you as a fish farmer, this will be on here for you three times in a week. So you'll be watching this three times in a week now. So make sure that you call people up to subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you share this uh, video to your likes mind. That means people that you love so much that you want them to be prosperous in fish farming. Make sure that you share it to them and uh, from the, our last episode we talked about um, making new success in fish uh, farming so making new success in fish uh, farming and from this episode we'll be continuing on that too as well so today we will be talking about the parameters you need to get it right in fish uh, farming there are some parameters you need to get things right in fish farming so let us continue with our lecture for today I uh, yeah if you want to get after you might have want to understand your feed formulation and concentration you will need some things to be intact so I mean you will need some uh, parameters some uh, effects to be in place so what am I talking about I'm talking about after getting your seeds from a trusted bidder seeds are uh, fishes fryers juvenile fingerlings so after getting it that from a trusted things that you must take care before you achieve that goals you need in fish farming that is what we'll be talking about today the first thing i'll be talking about today is uh, your water management yeah your water management you need to understand your water management the parameters in your water that means your water parameters sorry you need to understand your water parameters there are a whole lot of parameters that control your water and as this control your water this deter you from having that success you need in fish farming so it is important for you to know those parameters to know how to work on those parameters that can give you that desired success you need in giving yourself an edge to get that goals that you need to achieve in fish uh, uh, farming and what are the parameters from the parameters example of it is what we call the hardiness in your water if you have a higher hardiness in your water or a lower hardiness in your water those are the parameters this will not give you a desired result in fish farming and again the what the likes of magnesium the likes of phosphorus in your water the likes of your water ph that means your the potential hydrogen of your water that means the acidity and the alkalinity of your water your level of the chlorine and the level of your alkaline in your water this determine the, your goals you determine your success in fish farming so if you know know about all this thing i'm talking about about and you want to go into fish farming you can contact us we give you in-depth analysis we have some kit available that will sell for fish farmers in order to read those uh, factors to know that if this factor is suitable for my fish or not so it is important for you to do that too as well and again it's what we call storage capacity that means your the talking density of your pond note i'll still be going this to this in depth about all this note i'm talking about feed formulation but this just have to come in because if you don't get this right your feed uh, formulation and concentration will not work well it is important so for us to get to into that stage i will need to talk about this in a gv so but from from this episode i'll be going in depth on how to calculate all this for you because there's a recommended uh, uh, calculation that is meant for your stocking density that means your pond storage capacity i'll be going in depth be telling you more of this to know all this and the third one i'll be talking about is what we call your do that means the dissolved oxygen in your water as you all know dissolved oxygen do uh, the deterrent of the stock oxygen makes your fish not to grow at all may have a mistake if you don't have more uh, oxygen in your water the number required oxygen in your water your fishes may be hanging your fish may not feed well as when due 
most especially at night when the sun is set so all this you must know and you must know the uh, how to control the dissolved oxygen in your water and the materials to use the gadgets to use the equipment to use on how to control the dissolved oxygen in your water i told you earlier i'll be going in depth and i'll be telling you more about the And again, your temperature, the water condition of your weather. That means the weather condition of your water. This is very, very important. If you are, you must note that there is what you call the harsh period. There means the cold weather and the the hot weather. The your fridges does it has a, There's a ranges for fish growth. There's a ranges for uh, a fish uh, uh, fish ashy, and there's a ranges for grow out. So you must understand the temperature of your water that means you must understand the weather condition of your water if the weather condition of your water is too hot your fishes will not eat commonly this will congest your pond and this will reduce the number of uh, the total uh, uh, the dissolved oxygen in your water and your fishes will start dying and if they start dying you don't give them that much space you must give them space and you don't give them that amount of space that they need to allow them to get more dissolved oxygen in the water they will start dying and they will always die till they have that space themselves if you are not careful so you must understand this too as well another factors you must understand is when your water is too cold your water that means sometimes when you your storage capacity is too wide for your fishes this gives your water it allows your water to be too cold and if your water is too cold this to, this effect you will not allow them to heat very well so if there's something you can do you see that you put more fishes into the pond so that this can a little bit be okay for them and can they, because they control they can also control their water condition uh, been with their body that means the amount of fishes you put in the pond so you must understand these two as well these are very very important another one is what we call the ammonia control yeah the ammonia control is i can call it your water management how do you change your water how often do you recycle your water basically for those of us that are using what we call the recirculatory system of aquaculture we don't have much of ammonia settled in the water because this water moves concurrently that means we have inflow and outflow of water concurrently so this helps a lot of people that uses uh, what we call the recirculatory system of aquaculture uh, but if you are using a stagnant system stagnant system you need to understand the ammonia level of your water and what are those things that are really cushioning the ammonia uh, uh, ammonia sediment in the water we have the feces that means the air script from the fishes the fishes the uh, the amount of feed that our fish uh, eat this create the amount of feces they have in their water that means the air script the air script the feces in the water and particles we have what we call a lot of particles come from different area we have particles from the water and co and co we have a lot of these this constitute the ammonia of the water but note i'll be going more in depth about this from my uh, for my coming uh, video so you must understand the ammonia of the water of your fishes and again we will go to disease outbreak and control you must know how to there's no how you won't have uh, challenges of diseases that's the truth but if you have any challenges of disease you must understand the symptoms it is important to you to understand the symptoms of uh, the, the diseases that may come before any outbreak fishes always do give what we call symptoms so knowing symptoms of your of your fishes is important that means if you want to feed your fish in the morning see them make sure that you know about them know about the activity if your fishes are sluggish if your fishes barbells are dropping if the color of the fishes are changing all this and all that will give you that 
this species will be having a disease and how to control it i'll be telling you more in depth about how to control it the 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 the, the names of uh, uh, the deadly diseases for fishes i'll be giving how these two to you in an analysis very soon too as well so this will allow you to subscribe to this uh, channel make sure that you subscribe to this channel now so that press on the notion button so that this will tell you when we start giving out this information to you on the fish farming so let me go to the number seven number seven is the pond preparation your pond preparation is very very important how do we prepare our pond how do we manage our pond if it is a newly pond that you just contracted, if you've just contracted what you call the netting pond, there's a way we prepare the netting pond. So you must ask. If you don't know about it, make sure that you contact this number on the screen. There's a way we treat the surface pond. The surface ponds are a pond on the surface, like the concrete pond, like the tarpaulin pond. There's a way we prepare them for stocking. If you fail not to prepare them well i will tell you that bet you if you put one thousand of fish inside the pond you will have not less than 80 to 90 percent mortality if you are not careful so this will run and will run your business out in a jiffy so you must understand how to prepare your pond there's a way of doing this for concrete there's a way of doing this for tarpaulin there's a way of doing it from hitting pond and all other ponding system available make sure that you have these two as well so i'll be jumping to my number eight is what we call sorting sorting is deadly sorting is clean sorting is deadly sorting is killing if you don't know how to sort your fishes and grade your fishes properly this will waste all the effort that you have expended so far on fish farming so you must understand sorting very well you must know the required time for you to sort your fishes you must know the required time for you to grade your fishes you must know the required things that is needed for you for your sorting and note that you don't need to sort your fishes for stress don't stress them into stress so that's why i said you must know some particular items that you will need available for your fish uh, sorting this is very very important and again it's what we call the feeding frequency feeding frequency is i told to you about feeding frequency the other time and i lied to you on how to feed your fishes from infant to grow out so feeding your fishing frequency will allow you not to overfeed and underfeed your feeding frequency will determine the hfcr which is the uh, feed conversion ratio of your fishes and we know that feed conversion ratio in our fishes are what we use in order to calculate amount of weight gain on our fishes on the required period on this i'll be giving you a simple analysis on how to calculate this as well and don't over overfeed is deadly i told you earlier before don't overfeed don't you ever overfeed follow your feeding frequency of your pond and again don't underfeed don't underfeed once you underfeed your fishes i bet you your fishes will never grow well so let me quickly speak my mind to you before i go on this uh, uh, episode the next episode will be episode seven so make sure that you watch this video uh, to the end and uh, make sure that as the episode is going make sure that you invite people make sure that you call your neighbors make sure that you call your family and friends your likes mind to to watch this channel and make sure that you subscribe and you click on the notification bell button that means the notification bell yeah so my advice is um not an advocate of any feed because we'll be going more in depth into feed formulation now but i believe in what works for me it is important uh, i believe in what works for me what works for me meant may not work for you but my guide but may really guide you a lot yeah what really works for me may not work for other people but is an advice it's an advice i told you earlier you must be creative so it, and it's an advice and it will i know it will work for you over the years, I've realized that catfish farming can make money profitably by in producing feed yourself. Yeah. 
over years i've had a lot of experience and uh, i believe that if you can produce the feed yourself you can make a lot of money for yourself in catfish farming so you must know and understand how to feed your fishes yourself and how do you feed your fish yourself feeding your fish yourself uh, is what we call the feed, understanding your feed formulation and concentration so you must so you must take this topic very very important that's the truth you must take it as important as anything take it very very important knowing about your feed formulation and concentration so our episode 7 we'll be deeply talking about the feed formulation the core feed formulation so we now started going into the feed formulation so as we are trying to go into the feed formulation and concentration the core one now so make sure that we are arriving at where we are going now so we're just starting as we are starting our episode one to six is just an introduction seven we start in depth on feed depth formulation so with that make sure that you don't mix any of this episode make sure that you how don't how will you not miss any of this episode is by you to subscribe on this uh, channel is by you to watch this video to the end is by you to like and share is by you to press on the uh notion bell so to tell you when we the next episode we release the next episode in this channel so that you can be one of the first uh, to read and one of the first to view so uh, from this point i'll be calling it off from this uh, episode six so my name once again still remain odutola isa beyond the ttm your great uncle on this channel thank you and god bless you all